The wash sprayer and foamer together is going to wash two cars in about nine minutes total. The wash sprayer uh, is first attached to the foamer bottle here and we have our uh, surfactant. Here we're using Shine Up from Pro Tool and it's being foamed on. Uh, the one liter bottle can hold about uh, four or five car washes. Here we're moving on to the GT Performance and getting it foamed up in super fast motion. And then uh, once the cars are foamed, and this is done at a very soft setting, the spray is not very strong, we're going to need to agitate. This agitation process here is we change the foamer bottle out and we put in the 15 degree yellow tip. This tip off the wash sprayer is enough to be able to remove just about all the debris except some really sticky bird stuff that you may want to have a washcloth for. In this instance, neither of the cars had anything more on them than this uh, 15 degree with the wash sprayer um, could uh, handle. So that worked out real nice. Once, uh, once you've agitated the whole car, which gets most of the soap off, then you're going to want to come back and do a rinse. Basically, the rinse is just a little further away from the car. The nice thing about this is, is that you're using very little water. Both these cars were washed with about 15 to 18 gallons of water total because the wash sprayer is only putting out about 1.7 to 2 gallons of water during this process. So uh, it uh, is very effective and eco-friendly to use a uh, wash sprayer at a somewhat higher pressure to get your car clean and then rinse with pure water. In this case, the pure water is stored in two 30-gallon uh, tanks in the garage on a shelf. The pure water is then gravity fed into the uh, wash sprayer, which sits about five feet below the two 30 gallon tanks. And it uses that for both washing with the soap and performing the rinse with a spot free rinse.